Hey, ho, ho, ho. What's up, everybody? Wellness Week Live. I'm DJ Anthony. Hey, let's get right into it. What does therapy look like? Okay. So let's just say, and I really am talking to guys out there because I, I, it obviously it applies to women too, but us men are a little mm, more hesitant to go to therapy because we're tough. Hey, I got it. I got it. Worry about it. Go, 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 go. You know, women are a little bit more mature. They They go to therapy in greater numbers than us men. And if you look at it, the numbers don't lie. Suicide rates are much higher with men than women. I understand women also commit suicide and have mental health issues, no doubt, but men outnumber them by far. So we got an epidemic across the country, man or woman, but a greater epidemic with men. So this one is for men and women that I'm talking to, but particularly leaning a little bit towards men. I'm not a healthcare professional. Always check with your healthcare professional. I don't know shit. This is just my own life, my own experience. Let's get right into it. Okay. So um, I've gone to therapy for a while now, uh, you know, on and off as needed. And I, I can't say enough great things about it. However, if you've never gone to therapy and you're watching this and you probably need therapy, because I always say, if you have a brain, you need a therapist. It's, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. Winners have therapists. Don't tell me, I can't afford it. How many shoes do you have? Uh, do you have money for alcohol? You go to the movies, you go on vacation, you got money to hang out with the boys, you got money to hang out with the girls. You got money for this. Okay. Stop. So here's what it looks like when you go to therapy, okay? First, you're going to be like feeling like you're a big fucking loser. <laughs> At least I did, but you're going to feel like a loser. So if you go to a physical therapist's office, you're going to be walking in the first time like, <clears throat> nobody's going to know me. You don't want to be seen. You're going to be like, oh, shit, and I'm a loser. So you're gonna, but the, so the office you're going to go into is a building that's nondescript. It's just like a professional building. It's not like you're going into a, a place where it's like, huge billboard you know therapist office you're a fucking loser you're not, nothing like that it's usually like nondescript just vanilla building you know uh some therapists do operate out of their homes but usually it's a nondescript kind of like bank looking type of building professional setting with other professionals in the building it could be other therapists could be accountants doctors lawyers it's just a, a professional building so you'll go to like you know suite 107 or you know, uh, office, uh, 219. It, it's just, and, and they'll have a little sign on there saying like, you know, whatever, blah, 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 therapy or blah, 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 professionals. Like it's very nondescript. So you go in, there's like a waiting room <clears throat> and typically you are the only one in the waiting room. Very rarely is there somebody else in the waiting room or there might not even be a waiting room. And it might just be like, you know, the office, the person's waiting for you. And then you go into another office, you know, more of a private area so yeah it's not like a doctor it's not like a medical doctor's office where it's like oh there's 15 people here oh my god i know you from high school ah! you know, not, not like that you're going to roll in <clears throat> and there might be a receptionist might not typically there's not and you'll just yeah your therapist will be there like i said and you could if you're worried about bumping into somebody you could tell the therapist hey look i really want to be discreet about this so if you can just schedule me in a time where it would just There'd be nobody waiting in the waiting room if there's a waiting room, you know what I mean? But typically there's not. So you walk in and it's just like two chairs, you know, two comfy chairs or two couches. Therapist sits, you sit, and your therapist will have probably given you a questionnaire prior so he or she knows why you're there. But it'll, you know, you get through the the, the, the subtleties and the niceties up front. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you? Okay. So, you know, let's talk about, uh, you wrote here that, you know, you're coming in here for anxiety or stress or you're coming in here because whatever, you you know, you, you're having problems with your, your, your husband, wife, relationships, but whatever it is that you had would have filled out in the questionnaire. And then you're going to get into it. You're going to, he or she, you know, the, the therapist is going to start to ask probing questions like, well, why do you think you feel like this when this happens? Or, you know, what led to this problem with your wife or your boyfriend, your sister, your cousin, your mother, your father, your, your boss? Like, why are you having this? You know, what made you think that you would do this and not that? You know, so the therapist is not judging you. The therapist is not putting you on trial. But <clears throat> the therapist is there to try to help you peel back the layers of the onion where you can't do this on your own. You know, you might say, I got it. I got it. I know why I'm pissed off at people. <laughs> you know, no, nah, this person went through minimum four years of university to learn psychology and, and, and you should shut the hell up and at least give that person <clears throat> a fair chance to help you out. If you don't feel like you're being helped, then don't come back. You know what I mean? But winners see therapists, some of the most elite athletes on earth, the most elite business minds on earth, billionaires, 
go to therapy. Okay. I'm a business owner. I'm a successful business owner. I'm an athlete. I go to therapy. Why? Because I want to be the best of the best. I leave no stern on tone. I, what? Take two. I leave no stone unturned. So I eat right. I sleep right. I exercise. I have, you know, good people around me. I go to therapy physically, mentally, spiritually. I go to church. You know, I take my vitamins literally like, you, you know, you want to be a winner? Yes or no? So um, anyways, and if you think, well, therapy's for fucking weak people. Well, asshole, are you God? Okay, we're all weak. We all have weaknesses. There's nothing on earth that's 100% perfectly, uh, you know, in, in, uh, you know, bulletproof and, and uh, indestructible. Only God. So we're not God. We're not gods. So we all need to, again, therapy is coaching. Okay, you call it whatever you want. So, so yeah, so that's what that looks like. So you're going to go into the office. They're going to hear she'll talk to you. Um, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh, if it's a man or a woman, you get to choose the therapist and, and, and you can choose like, you know, anything from like their religion, uh, their sexual orientation. You can go to a therapist for poor people, a therapist for rich people, whatever it is, you know, that's why I love betterhelp.com and they should be paying me. They're not, you really can look at, I mean, thousands of, uh, therapist to choose the exact one you want because you're going to do teletherapy, you know, via FaceTime or over the phone. But if you prefer Face to face. That's how face to face is going to work. You're going to go into the office, this and that. Uh, but th that's where the differences end. If it's better help or talk space or old fashioned, like I'm going to the therapist's office physically, then everything is the same. Whether it's an app or physical therapy, they're going to uh, physically go into the therapist. They're going to ask you those those probing questions, like, "Well, why do you think you have that problem with that person? Like, where did this, you know, where did this start? You know, how did this?" How, how is this metastasizing? Why do you think, you know, or do you think that, so they're, they're never going to persecute you. They're never going to prosecute you. They're just going to help you to kind of unravel, you know, the problem and find the solution, you know, and a lot of times the solution is just you getting it out, like just talking. That's the solution, you know, like, cause more often than not, we know what we have to do, but to hear us say it, is is very very helpful so that's the great thing about therapy too therapists will do also more listening than talking they're going to let you talk their job is to make you talk you know and not to make them talk but they will give you know little kernels of advice and and, and uh guidance but for the most part they're like a shepherd you're the sheep you're gonna you're gonna be doing all the running around they're gonna be guiding you so it's pretty cool and uh but they yeah they, you know they can some therapists maybe are a little bit more aggressive in the sense of like, they'll say, okay, well, here's your homework. You should read this, get back to me next week, you know, things like that. And typically people go to therapy for about once a week. I mean, you can do more if you want to, but, uh, but that's what the therapy session feels like, looks like. It's just an interview, really. It's, it's kind of like if you were on a date with somebody and they were like really into you, that's therapy. Like they're just asking you questions and they seem interested in there. You know, they're taking copious notes every time you speak, like you feel like a celebrity. They really do. So it's just like, hey, you know, I, oh wow, they're 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 really into me, which, which they're not, but they are, but they're not. You know what I'm saying? So they're they're taking notes and things like that. And you don't have to say or share anything you don't want to. You know, this is not again, it's not an interrogation. So you can be like, eh, I don't really want to go into that right now, or maybe later on, or you know, it's just private. You know, but I love it. I love therapy. I think it's great. Uh, I know it's great. I, and I know you'll love it too. You should do it. Um, you know, if you're worried about being seen in public, going into the office, then go betterhelp.com. You know, you could, you have FaceTime therapy, which is what I use you, in your car, your base, in your home, whatever. You can talk just on the phone with them. You can even text if you want to. So, and um, the, the cost depends. It's going to be cheaper to go through BetterHelp and talk space, like online therapy versus physical therapy physically going to a therapist, physically going to a therapist, you're probably going to spend eh, 150 to 200, 250 per, for an hour. Where talk space and better help, you're going to spend about $80 for 45 minutes. So much better deal. And uh, I highly recommend it, but that's what you can expect. So, you know, some uh, probing questions in the sense of they're interested in your type of deal. You know what I mean? And then you build on that. You come back to next week and then they'll ask you, okay, so how did it go at work, you know, with this problem you had, or what did, what did you think you could have done better or different or not? Or so they're going to guide you like that, you know, so I highly recommend it. That's what you can expect when you go to therapy. Um, you know, it's a very chill laid back, you know, uh, tissues. If you need to cry, you know, um, I tend to like to go to, I've had male and female therapists, but I tend to like to go to female therapists, preferably for me. I just, I don't know. I feel like more comfortable that way, but I've, I've had 
some of the best therapists I've had have been male therapists, I will say, but typically I, I, I like the female therapists and, um, but yeah, whatever works for you. I have friends that go to male therapists and, you know, uh, that's it. So I hope that helps. And don't forget, if you're going through something really acute, really like intense right now, you can dial 988 and that's instant free help right on your phone. And so it's not, it's not, I wouldn't call it the suicide hotline. I would say it's the mental health crisis hotline because you can call and just be like, you know, um, I'm panicking or I'm, I'm, I'm overloaded. I don't know what to do. Like, and it's free. So, you know, um, that's it. All right, everyone. So I hope that helps and check back in. We got a lot more great content, like subscribe, share this show with somebody you love. Okay. And if you have any questions, type them in the comment sections below. Thank you everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm out of here. Bye.